Oh yeah, you dealt the 50k on the second one. I forgot about that. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, all you need is the prop. We can rebuild the rest. Oh god, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Lethal Bizzle. Do you know who Lethal Bizzle is? Or as he's known to his friends and family, Maxwell Owusu Answer. It's a British rapper. God damn, man. That was a long time ago. Do you hear sirens? Yeah, the popo are coming. Actually, no, we live quite close to, um... Actually, no, I shouldn't say that, but we... The the area in which we live uh, is near a few main roads, so ambulances pretty much... I, why am I up here? Uh, ambulance use this, uh, you know, to commute past, so... Martlet any good? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, if you, if you like the Wildcat, you'll like the Martlet. The only issue is when it gets up tiered into stuff like BVs, it's uh, not too great. But it's got a very good elevator on it, it's got good guns, power's okay, it's not the best but it's good enough. See, I, I personally like it. It's also very cheap on the market which helps it out a lot. Normally for me, what I do is I work this ridge line up here. It seems like people don't like doing that. They prefer going down there, and I don't really know why. Because you can get stuck down there real quick. MB5 okay? Uh... <laughs> There's a reason it was took off the, of sale. Just put it like that. Okay, there's more than one IS-2 over there. One down, one more piggy to go. Yeah, the MB5 has a pretty... It's, uh, it's got a few problems. Let's, uh, let's put it like that. You know, the Mark II Hispanos definitely don't help it. Uh, the clip wings, I mean, they don't seem to do what they're supposed to do. And the main issue is it's just way too heavy. Oh, come on. Gotta do better than that. I really like it when you get a successful shot with the Japanese, because the commander goes, Yus! <laughs> yus! You feel very accomplished. Where the hell are you going, buddy? So how does that not kill the gunner? How? Uh, what? That was an odd one. Got him in the end, though. How does the MB5 compare to the Prendergast bit? The Prendergast is way better. Because it's a hell of a lot lighter. So therefore, it's um, it's actually able to get to altitude at a decent click. The, the problem with the MB5 is it takes too long to get into position. So, and because of that, uh, it's, it, it isn't able to get into position while everybody else is fighting. So it takes you two to three minutes generally longer. And uh, so you have to become cleanup crew. And the thing is not flexible enough when it comes to its maneuverability to be a cleanup merchant. And its guns are not good enough to do it either. Ooh, there we go. Why would they take those China premium tanks? And even though China is not at that tier... Do you mean the T-34? I don't know. It seems a bit odd to me. Um, like, uh, you know, I, I, I do, I personally find it weird that the T-34 is at rank 4 and the, the two T-34s are at rank 3 for the Chinese tech tree. I mean, technically it's, it's only good, right? Because, you know, it means that people get better research uh, out of it, but it just seems a bit odd. 
Maybe they're trying to do it to try and push sales of the IS-2. Ooh, a Jagdpanther. So then, the idea is you buy both of them and create a lineup around them. Yeah, the Prender Spit climbs really well. Thought I might try and snipe his gun barrel. How are you? It's not gonna work here, Sonny Jim. Hello. I'm pretty sure he can't shoot me. I'm really hoping he can't shoot me, otherwise this is gonna look really bad. <laughs> Luckily he can't shoot me. I was gonna say, if he could just pop me there, we might be in a, a bad situation. When Godzilla fixes Spanos, it will be kind of okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I've been... I've... I haven't been doing too badly in Hispanos. I think it's more about the 151s just doing way more damage, you know? It's just one of those things. Kind of worried about this area. We're going to decap them. I know there's a Type 65 around, but if I decap... That means that he'll turn around and we can come at him. He can pen me, which is a real bad thing. And I have no smoke on this vehicle. Yeah, one of the things I used to do, dog, when I was um, when I was working stuff like 12-hour to 14-hour shifts, is I would feel completely fine, and then when I got off. It was as if my whole body just gave up. Like the, it was harder for me. Um, in instead of doing, you know, the 12, 14 hour, the 12, 14 hour wasn't the issue. The drive home was the issue, because my whole body, like, it, I would have, I would have, I would have easily been able to do it if I was allowed to like sleep at work, you know. But unfortunately, that wasn't that <laughs> wasn't a thing that was possible. But the the thing is. It was never, it was never the work that did me, it was the aftermath. Oh, I'm blind. I complain about Spitfires constantly because I haven't really figured out how to make them work yet. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, a lot of it is defend, uh, a lot of it against uh, stuff like German aircraft is learning how to defensively fly. That's a big part of it. I saw a vehicle over there somewhere. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, learning learning how to defensively fly is key in the Spitfire. Like being able to turn at the correct times uh, when somebody is coming onto you, which way to turn, uh, how to conserve energy while they're burning energy, how to force them down when you know you're below them. A lot of it is uh, a lot of it is to do with that. It is stressful because you've, if if you're in if you're in a defensive posture, you you have to focus on like, you know, two to three to four things at once. Whereas if you're in an offensive posture, it's pretty much laser in, and you know that's it. Well, I'm hardcore working. I can't eat or sleep. People at work find it odd. I just skip lunch some days. I'm the same way. Like if if there if there is a project that needs to get done, I will get it done, and it doesn't matter. You know, it it doesn't matter. Uh, but no, hell no high water, it will get done. You know, the only, the only breaks I'll take during a uh, project or like if, you know, if a deadline is coming up and we can't do anything about it and, you know, everything has to get done is uh, every four hours I will take a one smoke break for five minutes. That is all I'll allow myself until it's done. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll end up in a decent amount of those situations. It just, unfortunately, it's the way the cookie crumbles with it. This match went well, though. Two caps, four kills, I'll take it. Pretty much got the spawns locked down, too. 
There's only three of them left. What's the job? I'm um, a scientific researcher. Yeah, you have to go outside, but that's fine. For me, it's uh, it's a break from the madness. Like I, I can't, I can't be sat down for too long, or I go a bit stir crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that was a pretty good match, you know. Six six and a half K RP. Fifty-five K SL. What is this? Tactical sign of the Japanese second chutai. Nice censure. Hundred and fifty. Beautiful stuff. Got that transmission in the bag. Oh we got tracks as well. We are living in the money. Good stuff.